Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a short video today. And the purpose of this video is basically just to show you this book. Yeah, I was about to film a today's video using this book and I thought, I need to show people this book. Some of you are going to want to see the book, some will want to see the project. You won't all want to see both, so I'm just going to split it up into two videos, yeah? One of them showing you the book. Now, I think you can already see the huge scale of this book, yeah? So the story behind the book is a very short one, don't tune out. I wanted a Reader's Digest book to use for an altered book. I loved the one Tanya at Tatty Treasure did and uh, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and everyone else who's done them. And I thought, one day I will have a go. So I thought, I'm ready now. I'll buy a book. Yeah, I bought this. I saw it and I loved it. It might not look very special when you see the dust cover, but look under the dust cover. How absolutely gorgeous is that? And I'm just going to tilt it to let the light catch that it's one of those gold embossed pictures so the book is the encyclopedia of garden plants and flowers it is by reader's digest this edition is from 1987 uh, the book was first published in 1978 so it is actually vintage and the condition of this is superb someone has bought this and put it on a bookshelf basically They've not used it, they've not looked at it, there's, n there's no wear and tear inside whatsoever. It did have this in what on one of the pages. Yeah, it's yeah, from a plant, one of those little things you pop in the pots. So maybe they did intend to use it, or maybe they just used it so carefully you can't see the wear. But I think you'll agree, even the, I'll touch it up so you can see it all. Even the inside is absolutely gorgeous. So I'll tell you the size of this book, shall I? <laughs> now, I thought it was going to be like, you know, like your 8 by 5 book, 8 and a half by 5 and a half kind of size, whatever size Reader's Digest books are. I don't have one, so I can't tell you. But no, it is a whopping 10 and a half inches, which is in English money, 26 and a half centimetres, 10 and a half inches. So it's a good two, three inches taller than I thought it was going to be. And it is just short of eight inches wide. Yeah, so it's as wide as I thought it was going to be tall. So it's nearly the size of two books, isn't it? It's almost A4 size. Not quite. And the depth on it, oh, even the spine's gorgeous. Look, everything, Reader's Digest, Encyclopedia of Garden Plants and Flowers. It's about two and a quarter inches. It's one chompy book. I'll just move that out of the way and we'll have a squint at it. Uh, right, so it's not going to be used for what I intended to use it for. I'm still extremely happy with it because it's going to have a whole different use now. So let's have a look. You've seen that lovely end paper, which is gorgeous. I mean, there was a picture of the end paper and the cover of the book without the dust cover. Uh, with the dust cover, sorry. So I didn't know that were hiding underneath. And like I say, I thought it was much smaller. So let's have a look. Yeah, so it tells you all the years. 1987, this fourth edition. 1978, copyright. It's that paper that's shiny but not shiny, if you know what I mean. It's not mega shiny, but it's not matte. And it's quite a nice thickness. It's thick enough to be used as a page in a journal. But it's not so thick that you can't then use it on something else and you'll make things too thick. But look at it. Look at that. What does that say to you already? Yeah. That to me is already saying tags and bookmarks. Yeah. We can even, you could even just cut it out there and have a little description. It may be a long bookmark if you went all the way to the bottom. But you could just cut it off there say there where it pauses and that could be a bookmark these are saying faux postage stamps and we're only on page one and we turn over and you can see some of the pictures i'm in shot everywhere yeah i'm just gonna have a sip of my tea because i've not stopped rabbiting have i oh, that's, i've got a plain mug today my fancy one i couldn't be bothered to wash it i'm terrible i'd already used it this morning 
for my coffee and I can't mix tea and coffee in the same mug needs a good proper wash right so yeah we've got some slightly bigger pictures not quite as big as a tea card but then we turn over again and they are I've got a tea card out to show you look at that slightly bigger that one is the perfect size of a tea card so if you cut this out you could cut it out there include its little name then leave a white edge all around and just back it onto a piece of card or you could just cut around the actual picture and back that onto a card leaving a border on the card and these look at those they're just going to make some fabulous ephemera for junk journals uh, and that's two pages in i'm absolutely gobsmacked at how lovely it is look at those and if you didn't like the fact that you've got i think you can see i don't even know whether the light's picking up the shine because it's not it's what i call shiny matte or matte shiny <laughs> yeah uh even the bigger ones but every scrap of this book is going to be used this book is going to last me forever i will never have to buy this book again and i'm not even going to try and buy a spare which is something i quite often do but just look every page is beautiful and usable i'm not going to pronounce some of these names of these flowers it just it won't be good it, you know it wouldn't it'd be yeah it'd be bad look at these beautiful you could punch them out with a circle punch if the paper were thick enough cut them with your die cuts just cut them with your scissors they're just lovely and even that you could make a bookmark with all three on it's just same bookmarks bookmarks tea cards oh what's that oh that obviously was someone's bookmark don't know what it is it's not mine now i have already taken some pages out i was just taking the pages out that i wanted to use when i thought i've got to show this book it's my happy accident and it's gorgeous i mean when i've used all these pages in 25 years time i could turn this into i could turn it into a huge book i have tea dyed some really i buy paper me in a3 yeah and then I cut the A3 paper into two sounds. That's just, yeah, that would be good. That is the height of A4. So an A3, a full A3 folded. Yeah, I could make a giant journal. That's obviously not the full A3. So that's A4 size, yeah. And what I do, A3 is two of those. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this. I got this. Yeah. That would be A3 size. So what I do is I cut it to get a longer one for when I'm making journals with taller books and then I get a shorter one from when I'm for when I'm making smaller journals. Yeah, and then you don't have to sew two pieces in the middle. Oh, I've got some really good impressions as well from my uh, doilers this time. So yeah, anyway, I digress. So yeah, the options are a bit endless, aren't they? I could make a giant journal, but boy, would that be a giant journal. Or I could turn this into an ideas book. If you've not seen my original ideas book, I'll just show it you. <laughs> Things fell on me. My fairy house that one at kids made me just fell on me. It's one of the works ones that she <laughs> decorated with my stuff. But it's so cute, isn't it? It's the thought that counts yeah this is my ideas journal it's just a book cover yeah i thought i thought this were going to be smaller than this and i put pages and oh that were not an idea that were a completed one yeah you'll have seen me i have got videos where i've made a lot of these pockets and yeah this is where all my ideas for pages go yeah to remind me what to do and then i have a section at the back with just some spare pages that didn't quite make it into current journals and that i will put in another journal at some point yeah but it's full and it also gets pretty thick and i'm limited to putting one thing per page if i made myself a giant ideas journal i could get some a3 card to cut that up for the pages and bind it like this one it's got an elastic binding so these pages come in and out yeah 
boing. <laughs> I don't know why I said boing. I couldn't resist it. We're elastic. Yeah, I could do that with this, and that would just be so gorgeous to look at, wouldn't it? And if I told you how much this were, I haven't... I think it was five pound, including the postage. Because it, I bought it from one of the booksellers through eBay, and you don't actually pay what the postage actually costs with them. They have like a contract, don't they? So they get vast discounts. I think the book. In fact, let's do it. I'm wondering what this book weighs. Let's do it while we're in a doing mood. I've got my scales here because I've been packing up parcels. Where have you gone, scales? Oh, have I got my scales? Thought I had. Yeah. So let's get the scales. I'll tell you what this book weighs. It's huge. It's a monster. What are we in? We're in pounds and ounces there. It is four pounds. Oh, and I've cut a few bits out. Four pounds, 4.2 ounces. Let's put back in the bits I've already cut out. Four pounds, nine ounce, basically. Wow. And what's that in grams? That's is that about two kilogram? No, that's milliliters. We don't want to know how many milliliters it is. It's just under two kilograms. Wow. Oh, it'd be over with these pages on, won't it? Yeah, it's over two kilograms. Nearly 2.1 kilograms. That is a monster of a book. That is... When you think we pay £10 for a paper pad with 48 sheets, yeah? And then you can get this for £5. This is the bargain of the century. So, yeah, it's called the Reader's Digest Encyclopedia of uh, garden plants and flowers and I've lost the dust cover already. Do you know I get so dizzy me when I'm excited about something. I took the dust cover off and I've just flung it somewhere and where I have absolutely no idea. Oh here it is. I'm gonna need granny grabber to pick it up it's on the floor. There we go. Hello to anyone who's not seen granny grabber. It's because my craft room's so small I can't I can't be standing up and Knocking everything over with my chair. Right, so yeah. Encyclopedia of Garden Plants and Flowers by Reader's Digest. The ISBN is there. Yeah, you're going to have to zoom in to see that. 0276 000 0862. I'll try and put that up on screen if I can get my fancy editing skills working. If you are interested in it. But by all means, you don't need it. Uh, the project I'm going to be doing later today, you don't need that book for. You can do it with anything. I mean, sometimes you get those scrapbook papers that are a little bit too busy, don't you? And you just think, oh, I don't want that flowery pattern all over. You could cut a small piece of that. You could even cut pictures out of magazines. Yeah, you can get your pictures from anywhere. Leaflets. Yeah, you could, you could make a pizza faux postage stamp if you wanted to. Yeah, that might be quite funny, actually, for someone who likes pizza. I think if someone sent me a pizza faux postage stamp, I'd, I'd have a chuckle. So, yeah, that's the book, basically. So I'm going to stop fawning over the book and gushing about it now. And I do apologise if I'm encouraging you to spend money and enabling you. But I just couldn't... I just needed to show it you. It's, every scrap of that is going to get used. It will probably take me 25 years. I just thought now with the weight of it... My... <coughs> Yeah, if, if you watch me regularly, you'll know I've got twins, twin girls, Rachel and Rebecca, who are 14 year old, and they were born prematurely at 32 weeks, and they weighed £4.11, Rebecca, and £3.9, Rachel. So this book is nearly as heavy as Rebecca was when she was born, and it's heavier than Rachel was. That's mad. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, I just think it's nearly as heavy as a baby. A small baby, a premature baby like mine. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because I'm just descending into inane chit chit chat now, aren't I? So I'm going to pop off. I'll film the video so you will see me again today. If you're not sick of seeing me, it'll be a second video. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later today with some photo cards and stamps and bookmarks. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.